Well, first thing today, we are going to get after this oil leak that we have on this filter housing. If you recall, when we got this set up the other night, the filter was dripping a little bit, and I had noticed, after I got done painting this truck, I pulled the um, tape all off of everything. I took the filter off of the housing just so that I wouldn't end up with paint all over it and I just covered the bottom side of this filter housing up with tape. Well, when I pulled the tape off, I did notice that there was a spot that had a little POR on it. I wiped it off, but I must not have wiped it off good enough. And it is right on this one side, right there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull that O-ring out of there and we're gonna very carefully heat that up with a propane torch and try to get that POR out of there. So I've got a new O-ring. Let's see if I can do this with hold the camera and doing this with one hand we'll pull this o-ring out of here we might only have to change the o-ring we might not have to get after the aluminum at all yeah we might be able to yeah yeah we lucked out so we're gonna be able to just throw a new o-ring in there and uh, get it back going so we've got a new o-ring setting on here there's the old one and yeah so there's just some spots where it didn't seat up against the filter good enough so we'll throw a new o-ring in there and then put the filter back on we'll engage the pto get the hydraulic pump running make sure we don't have any more leaks and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a two-way radio uh into this truck and then we can use this thing uh here today so let's go ahead and get this o-ring in there i'll get the filter up on there and uh we'll fire this up and we'll hope that we don't have any more leaks. All right, so we've got new O-ring in there. We've got the filter back on. Now we'll go ahead and fire this up. We've got headliner pulled down. Trying to figure out where going to put this two-way radio PTO is on that pump is pumping we'll just make sure we don't have a leak right now shape that's all that was is just a little bit of schnookum on the oil filter o-ring so now we're going to work on getting this two-way radio in there we'll get it out of the box i pulled that one panel down out of the headliner and that's where i think i'm going to put it i don't really have any other options as far as 
where we can install that we're gonna have to build a bracket of some kind and then we need a little more wattage than what that cb wire has there so we're probably gonna run a hot wire down through the headliner down through this cab post here and then over into oh we could steal power from this main power switch here i think so we're gonna dive into it here all right so we have the back of the mirror removed and we're gonna cut the end of the cb antenna off and we're gonna try to tape our antenna wire on there for the uh, two-way radio and we're gonna try to pull it down through that mirror it's gonna come back through the door here and then we're gonna leave it at this point they had a CB mounted up in the headliner and I haven't yet decided if that's where we're gonna put the two-way radio or if we're gonna mount the two-way radio right to the console that the air controls are on so yeah it's going to involve building a bracket cutting a little tiny hole in that cover or we can mount the radio right below that little headliner piece here it is stiff enough but i haven't yet decided i haven't thought that far ahead yet so we'll go ahead and cut that wire and then we could just tape this end of the two-way radio antenna to the coaxial cord for the cb antenna and try to pull it through this mirror and down through the door and into the cab Alright, we're not having any luck pulling on that CB antenna wire. So what I'm thinking is they've got zip ties on that freaking CB wire in behind this door panel. So that means we got to take the door panel off. Fun stuff. Alright, so don't ask me how I did it, but I was able to fish this antenna wire through there. We taped it to the CB cable, and that's as fat as it is. I couldn't get it any thinner than that. We barely got it through this hole here in the mirror. We pulled it through, and we brought it up through the bottom side of the mirror. Now we've got to feed this down through and we need to get it out the bottom of the door. Now I took the door panel off thinking that it was um, zip tied in here somewhere. However, that doesn't seem to be the case, but it's still pulling somewhat hard. So we've got to get to the bottom of that, pull it through this part, and then that cable's right up in there. We've got to take part of the threshold out, I'm thinking. And I'm hoping that they don't have any zip ties from that point there all the way up through uh, the headliner. So it, uh, it's fun. It's fun, fun, fun here. You don't want to advertise for the ladies? Huh? You don't want to advertise for the ladies? That's what dating apps are for. Oh, okay. Alright, so while we're working on this truck, Sarah's going to shine this tractor up too. She's going to start with some bug and tar remover and then she's going to get right after it with the old turtle wax. That's what she has used on the other tractors, her and Alex, and they managed to get them to shine right up. 
but you can see this one's fairly dull this tractor here in the 9410 you might have a soft tire there alex this tractor here in the 9410 we bought in the same year and uh we bought this one new as well and this and the 9410 were the last two tractors that we bought new i planted corn with this for uh, four five six years we mainly bought it because it's got a front hitch on it and now we mow hay with it but i see we have a soft tire that we're going to have to address this has got like i don't know 5,000 hours on it i believe it's been good we've only had to put two transmissions in it so far they put one in it a year ago it's got the famous ivt in it so we better keep at it here sarah wants to get hauling manure with this all right so this is what we're dealing with this cb antenna wire comes down and out through the mirror and in through the door down through this harness and then they've got it all taped very tightly to the that looks that wire there it looks like it's been crimped crushed rather we'll have to address that but we got to pull all this tape off so that we can get this pulled through here okay so we have <clears throat> all of our cable drug through the mirror bracket and through the door panel and down through the bottom of the door panel and then in through the wire harness that comes from the cab over to the door we are right inside here now with the cable We've got to run it up into the headliner. However, they have it taped and zip tied and everything else from here all the way to there. They had it taped just inside this hole here. I had to reach in with a welding rod to try to break the tape. Wrapped hellishly with tape all the way up through this wire harness. And it was all interwoven in with all of those wires. So we've got it right here coming through the door panel out through the outside we've got a little bit of excess here we're just going to zip tie this up and then we'll put our cover back on the lower mirror bracket then we've got our end of the wire and that will go up to our actual antenna that goes up on the top of the mirror what a pain in the ass this has been so we're going to get the door panel all on there and then i'm going to have to take part of the cab apart to get from where we're going to mount the radio down to uh this point here um that'll give me a little time to think about what i want to do maybe i'll run this cable right over through on the back side of the cab and just mount the radio right on that console for the air controls that is an option as well all right so we've got the door panel back together antenna wire is inside the cab we need to pull the headliner and everything down to take the antenna up and through uh the corner post and so on we also need to run a heavier watt power wire as well but before we do that we're gonna go ahead and finish up this mirror so we've got our wire here we left a little bit extra on the outside in case we need to Put an end on this cable or what have you and what i need to do there's a mount up on top of that mirror we need to oversize that hole so that we can hook up 
the uh, wire for the antenna and then we've got this guy here that's going to go on there set right up on top of the mirror so we'll go ahead and uh get that up on now all right so that's what that's going to look like up on there and then what we're going to do is just run a zip tie around this here and we're going to have to cut out the shroud that goes over the back side of this mirror because that's a lot bigger than what the hole is in the uh mirror itself so we'll get that figured out and then we'll get back with you all right so this is what the top of this mirror looks like and it's got that little tiny hole there for the antenna and i don't i think we're gonna have to cut this out yeah we're gonna have to cut this right out like that so yeah that's cute all right so we've got our mirror back together and i decided to just put a bracket on the actual mirror itself run the wire out through the bottom and then what this will do is it will keep the antenna from being up so high the reception is not going to be as good but um if we're way up 12 foot off the ground or better we're going to be in the bushes sometimes so sarah's got the hood just about done on this tractor the old turtle wax is really doing its thing here that has shined pretty good she's going to go over it with another coat of wax and uh yeah you can see the difference between the hood and the fenders so that's shining up pretty good so we'll go ahead and get our antenna installed here and get our bracket on the mirror we've got some ties to put on there and uh we'll have this exterior part done here in a moment oh we could still Put it up top there as well however we'll see how that works first we do have enough wire to go out through uh, the top of the mirror but we'll uh, see how we make out with this contraption here all right so that's what that's gonna look like uh we'll just have to see how the reception works on that being that it's mounted a little lower but it should do okay these radios have quite a bit more range than the cbs do if it's not the greatest we'll have to move we'll have to take the mirror apart and put the bracket up on top we could still kick it forward some but um that's probably going to work there pretty good now what we've got to do is we have to take 
apart some of this interior of this truck so that we can get the cable pulled up through to the uh, headliner. All right, so we have this all done. We ended up mounting the radio just under the headliner here up in kind of the middle of the cab they had a mic holder already setting in there and uh we're good to go so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this truck up and hook it to the spreader tanker that is I don't know if I have these lines adjusted correctly or not, but we're going to find out. So we'll let this air up. We got lucky. All we had for an oil leak on this uh, filter was a little bit of paint on the O-ring. That's all it was that made that leak. So we'll go ahead and take this up, get it hooked up. Then we're gonna make a dry run. We're gonna run with the empty tanker down the road. And uh, then we'll get hauling some actual manure here. So, we'll let this air up and we'll roll it right out the door. Sarah's got that 7290 about three quarters done. She ended up pulling it outside to wash off the rear fenders so that looks a lot better than it did tractors 10 years old so we'll pull this out we'll get it uh hooked up We might as well pull this across the scale. I think this weighed 19,000. Oh, we're 20. 20,080 pounds. Uh, yeah, it was 19,000 something. But we added a pump and uh, 50 gallons of oil hydraulic reservoir and so on and so forth. Jared's getting the crawler loaded up. That crawler there is the older one.
know, we had the Peterbilt on this trailer last, and I thought. So we've got this all hooked up. I think my leads are okay the way they are. Um, we need to get another bungee cord. Maybe hook this up to there like that. But we're just going to make an, a run with this empty first before we put a load on it. And we'll just see how everything pulls here. Um, this trailer was hooked to the Peterbilt. The Peterbilt is off to Kenworth now, getting worked on. So we were gonna put this truck on Jared's trailer. But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and take it for a ride. Jump on in now, giddy up. We're just gonna make a quick run around the block. We ended up putting a bungee cord on our hoses there, going back to the trailer. And we're just gonna run it around the block, a couple miles is all. Then we'll put a load of manure on it.
it skipped that time. Yeah. Four door rattlings, freight shakers, but you know what that is? Is it's the door lock peg. That's what makes the noise. So we did have that door panel over there on the driver's side apart. I was thinking about taking the door locks out of it, but I didn't. On the Kenworths, they've got just a real small, tiny peg. Boy, you hit your elbow on them just right and you end up uh, knocking your funny bone a little bit. I, we took some of them out. They just threaded off of the peg itself. Geronimo! What's your thoughts there, Sarah? I don't know. It's different. Different? different when it turns in the middle, huh? Yeah. But you're used to turning in the middle. Not like this. <laughs> oh. a little aggressive, isn't it? Jake brake's a little aggressive. Now when you're empty, you can have it down on that lower setting. And then it'll do everything you want. Alright, it's clear. Put it right to the floor now. Just hammer down. That 
that's right to the floor. Sun on everybody's eyes is here. I don't know if that visor is helping at all or not. What gear are you in? Eighth. Eighth gear. How fast? 40. Yeah. 11. 11th gear now. We only got two left. Alright, now when you crest over this hill, just let off the throttle. And then turn the Jake brake up on aggressive. We've got a turn down here, quarter of a mile. That's letting right off. Have you, are you towing the brakes at all? Yeah, you better start towing them a little bit. Is it gearing down? Still towing. I'm down tonight. So that's gearing down. Yeah. What gear now? Nine. Six. How aggressive were you on the brakes? Nine. As, mu as much as the Allison, you think? Or no? Probably. Nice and smooth. That was nice. That was some good, uh, good downshift and to demonstrate there. Well, now we gotta put a load of manure on. Put it to the real test, right? You can hit the scale this time. What's that? Yeah, you can go in the first one. That was a little harder to get into, though. It's not as it's not as wide. You got to swing it hard. Swing it hard to the left. Make sure there's no cars. Huh? You were checking. All right, take it a little farther. pretty good. Now he's got to watch it when you swing. Cars will be passing you. We're just going to take this across the scale to get an empty weight. I don't know how much manure is in this tank. I don't think there's that much. She only hauled one day, right? Because that was cleaned right out, I think. So we were 20,000 with just the tractor. We've got our guardrails down on the scale so that we could get dual tractors on and off, weigh them. Looks like we're all on, what are you? 47. 47.7, so this trailer is 27,000 pounds empty. So that'll, uh, yeah, that'll give us an idea how that is. Where am I going? Oh, that is a good question, Sarah. Why don't you run down the road? Uh, can we turn around the bunks?
We could just park it down there where Jared's is. We'll go down this hill. Yeah, unless you want to just park it right here. You could just park it right there like that. Like? Yeah, just pull up a little farther. Yeah, this is good right here. Well, I think that's going to do it. We've had some long videos here. If you just pull the yellow one, the red one will follow. Yeah. All right. Radio's all up and in there. We'll come back at you at the next video. With a load of manure on it. Maybe we'll chase these trucks. We'll see how this one does compared to the 900. Race them. Okay. <laughs> all right, folks. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you at the next one.